here's why I like virtual tabletops like Roll20 for Dungeons and Dragons. Hey everyone, I'm the d and Wannabe, my name is Rob, and I've played Dungeons and Dragons for years. Some of that has been on a tabletop, and a lot of that has been online. And online is a powerful tool for accomplishing things that playing in person does not. Now, I'm not saying that online is better. All things considered, I would rather play at a table with my friends, just because I'm going to have a better time being with everyone. But for the sake of the game itself, it is easier sometimes to immerse your players in the game and to be immersed as a player on a virtual tabletop like Roll20. I was playing a halfling rogue named Pillory going into Port Nyanzaru, the beginning of the Tomb of Annihilation campaign in 5th edition. Now, as it happened, I was the only character in the party that did not have dark vision as a racial feature. We wind up getting ambushed by these assassins in the Temple of Savras in the port. Now, everyone else rolls initiative, sees the enemy, and goes about their turns as normal. I have a very low initiative, and I see nothing. My screen is pretty much completely black. I patiently wait for my turn because I don't want to interrupt the game, and then I let the Dungeon Master know, hey, I can't see anything. The Dungeon Master checks this, that, and the other thing, and then realizes that, yes, this is what my character should be seeing in a situation like this when they are indoors with very few windows and no lights on. Not having any means on my character sheet at the time to be able to create light for myself, I wind up hiding behind the nearest pillar that I can find by touch and feeling my way around and waiting for things to sound like they're close to me to jump out and stab at them. All the while, other players in the same game are talking about this and that, and why is Pillory only doing this, or why isn't he jumping this guy? He could get sneak attack with me right now, and my dungeon master reminds them, hey, Rob is playing an entirely different game than you are right now, because he can't see. Now, if we were to try and do this at a regular table, with all of our friends around it, with maybe a battle map or some miniatures. Everything that is in that room would be common knowledge. There's not a way to deny information to an individual sitting at a table where everyone else is informed. But on a virtual tabletop, my perspective was limited to the perspective of my character, and every decision I made was informed by the very limited information that I as a character actually had. I've played years before that moment, and I've played years since, but that session left a big impact on me. It really made an impression as to how the game could be played, and maybe how the game should be played, at least in terms of making good in-character decisions and being immersed in the world that your character is inhabiting. That's all for now, guys. If you enjoyed this story, like the video and comment down below asking me to make more videos like this. I've got plenty more stories. And if you want to be around to see them, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, please. Until next time, friends and adventurers, farewell, and Godspeed.